Right? You gonna put this in for me? No? Okay. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Well, the manure tanker was running and he was getting a good amount done. Had two fields left as far as what the tractor was gonna spread, but yeah. We got two inches of rain today when they were expecting it to be a half inch all day. Now it's hot, humid. It's supposed to be good weather all weekend. Sunday night into Monday, it's supposed to rain more. So just part of it, but I was at a farm this morning and they got four and a half inches almost. So I guess we're blessed we didn't get four and a half inches. So right now we're lucky our soil can take this and we can be good. So no tanker running today, but I got plenty of things to dive into. So let's get after that stuff. Well, Taylor's still hooked up, which it's gonna stay hooked up. But we might as well run through the truck, check some things over, change the oil. I got something to put in it. I gotta clean out the back. Yeah, I got trash bags in there. Well, we got, yeah, don't mind the, the party favors, but let's see. Be cool if they figured out how to make one of these stick to the glass for a while. Ooh, yes. So this thing is still a mess um, since we, yeah, the ink was living in the back and well, I still got my Rhizorfs hats, so shout out to them. If you haven't, if you haven't watched those videos, big shout out to them. So they helped me with some feed stuff I was looking for, so I heart milk. To be honest, pickup's going to end up at my house tonight with the trailer attached so just to give you guys something to think about oh, I already fell down other than the inside being an absolute wreck actually we still got look at that tire coat Colburn brought that he said we couldn't roll around dirty so appreciate that I got some things that need to get checked over needs an oil change uh, that being said this uh, hot side of the turbo, it actually, and I've done this before when I put it together, it actually rubs on the steering shaft, uh, the steering wheel shaft. So we gotta loosen the bottom and pull it up and then retighten it down. So what I gotta do, jack it up, pull this wheel off, pull the cover out, and then I can get right into it. I have all the tools. I almost thought about trying to do it when we were on the road. And as you see, my TCM, which had been giving me issues, is tied up right here, not sitting over here. That bracket's actually broken. But with that being said, big shout out. Let me grab it and I'll show you. So for those of you who watched when I was building this motor, I ordered a lot of stuff through ibuildmydiesel.com. Uh, and not only are they good friends of mine, but they're diesel guys, they understand it. So new platform, pretty much if they don't have what you're looking for as far as part side, send them an email, they will find a contact source. So I hit them up, actually, when they found out my truck was down, when it was acting up when we were in Michigan, uh, they hit me up and they said, hey, sounds like your TCM's going bad. If you can't get an advanced scan tool to actually run through, check everything, unplug it, plug it back in, go from there and I said yep that's working and then it happened again and at that point they said alrighty we need to get you a TCM and I said well who's got good tunes for him and I reached out to the guy that built the tranny uh, didn't really get anywhere with that so I know he's busy now but they reached out and they said hey Dan's diesel performance has tunes we're not a vendor for him but now we are they hooked me up, sent me an enhanced tuned TCM. So with that being said, if you're buying diesel parts, check them out at checkout. If you are buying diesel parts at checkout, if you're going forward, you can get $50 worth of 
free merchandise from their store um, if you use the code Duffy Ag. All one word, Duffy Ag, gets you $50 of free merch in their store. If you're buying diesel parts, you might as well get free merch with it, right? So when I did mine, uh, injectors, let's see, what exactly did I get thrown? Injectors, kits, studs, uh, manifolds, did all that stuff. So really good people. Check them out. Like I said, I'll drop a link below, but I build my diesel.com. Good people. Diesel parts are, you know, it ain't free. So it's always nice when you get some merch and who doesn't like free merch. So Duffy Ag in the promotion code, you get $50 off free, free merch. So got to spend $250, but with that being said, this little guy was more than $250. Injectors are more than $250, so there's not much stuff in the diesel world that's under $250, so. Alrighty, with that being said, I'm gonna switch that out, so we'll cut the zip ties. I left it zip tied there, because I thought maybe it was shaking around, or maybe it was getting too hot next to that, which has been a sign of it. So we'll plug that in. We'll hold on to that, but I think that's my issue. I actually had a good buddy. <clears throat> he thinks his went bad, so I'm gonna send him their way and say, this is what you need. Right? You gonna put this in for me? Well, pop that out. Look at that. Only goes one way. <sighs> Make sure nothing's in there. Put that down. Close it, lock it. Remount it. I think. We'll see if I can slip it in there without taking the mounting plate off. That is cracked up there, but this one's still good. It's not going anywhere there. So, alrighty, we'll hold on to this one. Alrighty, little rattle that was in there, the vibration, I guess, on the, well, hot side of the turbo piping. There's a power steering line that runs back and it was actually close enough that it would rattle on that. It wasn't the actual steering link, which, so I'd move that up and I did put hose on it so that if it does move at all, it doesn't rub on it either side of it because that wouldn't be good. So did an oil change. That oil has, I don't know, 3,000 miles on it. Looks awesome. So previously I did one at Colburn's when we stopped on our last trip. So in the process of doing an oil change, I guess, tires off because I had to get to the wheel well. Um, everything else looks good. So I did spoil myself. I got my Milwaukee light all moving around with me. I did spoil myself. Don't mind the back of my work van, it's a mess. I got new chains. So three binders, two chains. I got my other chains. I got to take off the tender trailer uh, and a few more. So I should have five chains and well, I still got straps in here. I think that's a good strap, right? There's that one that wore through. That's one that wore through, that one junk. We still gotta clean out some of this in here. But, yeah, what do we got in the, the box? Oh yeah, we got more chains, uh, more straps. So, we will be good. I guess, the question is, does anybody know what I'm going after? I've dropped hints about a few things that I'm going after, and people have been sending me links about stuff. Anybody know where I'm going and what I'm going after? If you get both of those, we'll send you something. So, alrighty. What else I gotta do? Put tire back on, load trailer, get my socket sets, make sure all the gun, the Milwaukee gun's all done. The thing I'm getting should be palletized and ready to rock and roll. I guess I just gave away some hints. I guess I didn't actually. It's not being palletized. It's gonna be ready to load is what they said. They said they'd, they'd get it ready to load so that they could set it right on the trailer. Palletized is the wrong word, so forget that. Well, alrighty, check oil, finish up this, 
pack myself up and yeah not sure what time I'm leaving tomorrow or early in the morning or what Shh. we're on a trip yeah secrets out of the bag so ended up heading somewhere after I got the truck right already so I guess you guys will have to stay tuned for the next video can't wait can't go up now so appreciate you guys watching liking subscribing see you guys in the next one